Good morning and welcome to the Cathedral of Mary of the Assumption in Saginaw, Michigan. I am so glad that you have joined us this morning. I am Bishop Robert Gruss, the Bishop of the Diocese of Saginaw, and I'm joined here with Sister Esther Mary Nickel. Um, and um, so we thank you for joining us for this novena in honor of St. Isidore, patron saint of farmers and rural people. Sister and I are both members of the Board of Directors of Catholic Rural Life, and therefore we are delighted to lead you today um, in our prayer. And I think it's important as we gather in prayer in this virtual way for day four of the novena um, in honor of St. Isidore, it's important that we are here. The COVID-19 pandemic has, we all, as we all know, has created like so much chaos around the world, but it also has a greatly affected our rural communities, our farmers, our farm workers, and all who are involved in the food production and distribution of food across our country. And it appears now that many states across the country are beginning to open up. That's a good thing. Um, the spring weather is bringing farmers and ranchers out into the field. This too is a good thing. Um, but we're also reminded that while the weather, at least here in Michigan, is turning warmer and the sun is out a little bit more, you know, there are still many, many people, including our folks in our rural communities, who are suffering. And so this gradual opening up of our, of our economy is important, but obviously we pray that it's done safely for everyone. And today, as we continue with this novena, we do pray for, we pray through the intercession of St. Isidore and his wife, Maria, for our farmers, our ranchers, the farm workers, and all the rural communities who are suffering because of this coronavirus. We lift them up to the Lord, praying for healing and praying for the fruitfulness of their work, praying for those in our rural communities who have lost their lives um, to this virus and their grieving families whom they have left behind as well. You know, as the psalmist prays, I sought the Lord and he answered me, delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant and your faces may not blush for shame. This poor one cried out and the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. So we trust that our Lord hears our cries today and will bring an end to this great pandemic. <clears throat> As I mentioned yesterday, prayer is the greatest combatant against this evil in our world today. So again, welcome. We're happy you're joining us today. Um, if you want to join us in prayer at home, there is a printable PDF on the Catholic uh, Rural Life uh, website. It's catholicruralife.org. Just click on the on the virtual novena and it will appear for you. And as you join us virtually, you are welcome to co comment your prayer requests or go on the website and submit your prayer requests or go on the website and submit them on the novena page as well. And we will lift all of those prayers up um, with ours as well. So thanks again for joining us today for this novena as we offer our intentions for our rural communities. You know, the theme for the fourth day of this novena today is dignity of work. Work is fundamental to the dignity of the human person. The right to work comes from an inherent dignity that comes from God himself, allowing us to participate in the continuing work of our creator. But the true meaning and purpose for work is not to amass wealth, it's not to acquire all the material goods that we can, but to be able to provide for the caring for the family and for bringing the Christian spirit, the Christian life into the workplace, thereby helping to promote the work of the Lord. In other words, the Christian spirit should permeate all that we do. You know, our catechism of the Catholic Church helps us to um, understand these insights. Um, and this is what it says, I'm gonna quote it. Human work proceeds directly from persons created in the image of God and called to prolong the work of creation by subduing the earth, both with and for one another. Work honors 
the Creator's gifts and talents received from Him. It can also be redemptive. By enduring the hardship of work in union with Jesus, the carpenter of Nazareth, and the one crucified on Calvary, man collaborates in a certain fashion with the Son of God in his redemptive work. He shows himself to be a disciple of Christ by carrying the cross daily in the work he is called to accomplish. Work can be a means of sanctification and a way of, of animating earthly realities with the Spirit of Christ. So that's from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2427. In the words of Pope Francis, he says, work anoints us with dignity. Work anoints us with dignity. How beautiful is that? It fills us with dignity. It makes us similar to God, he says, who has worked and still works and always acts. And so with the COVID-19 raising havoc all across our lands, we suddenly find an economy that has been brought to its knees. 33 million people unemployed at this moment. Unemployment at 14%, 14.7%. The suffering of the workforce is as epidemic as this pandemic. Widespread unemployment such as this leads to pervasive poverty. And in some many ways, it diminishes human lives. It undermines human dignity and obviously hurts children and families. The church always must always serve and stand in solidarity with those who are poor and jobless. In the words of Pope Benedict XVI, he said this in, in um, Caritas in Veritate, he said, being out of work or dependent on public or private assistance for a prolonged period undermines the freedom and the creativity of the person and his family and social relationships, causing great psychological and spiritual suffering. This also, I think, diminishes the common good. It diminishes economic security <clears throat> and individual creativity will be weakened when so many live without the dignity of work and bear the crushing burden of poverty. In many ways, friends, this is where we are right now in our world, in our culture, in our country. And this is precisely why it is important that in these tough economic times, we turn to, to the God who loves us. We pray for those who need work. We lift up the poor and suffering, and we ask God's guidance for our nation. But friends, this is not a time to give in to discouragement. It's a time for faith, hope, and love. This must be our stance today before the world. Faith offers moral principles to guide us in the days ahead. Christian hope gives us strength. And Christ's love in us, Christ's love in us, calls us to care for those left behind in this broken economy. Amen? Amen. Okay. So let us begin our prayer. Lord, our God, whose mighty hand carved out the seas and built the land, who by the labors of our Lord the honor Adam lost restored. Let us be joined to Christ your Son, that in his work we may be one. So we shall in our work partake of God whom we by sloth forsake. Through 
Jesus Christ, let this be done. Who lives and reigns, our Lord, your Son, whom with the Spirit we adore. One God with you The work of the just is unto life, but the fruit of the wicked unto sin. Together, the Lord build the house, they they labor labor in in vain vain who build build it. it. Unless Unless the the Lord Lord guard guard the city, city, in vain vain does the guard guard keep vigil. It is vain vain for you to to rise rise early early or put put off your your rest. rest. You that that eat eat hard-earned bread, For he he gives gives to his his beloved beloved in sleep. sleep. Behold, Behold, sons sons are a gift from the Lord. Lord. The The fruit fruit of the womb womb is a reward. reward. Like Like arrows arrows in the hand of a warrior warrior are the the sons sons of of one's one's youth. youth. Happy Happy the the man man whose quiver is filled with them. them. He shall not be put to shame when they contend with enemies at the gate. Glory Glory be be to to the the Father, and to the the Son, Son, and and to to the the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, as as it was was in the beginning, beginning, is is now, and and ever ever shall be, world world without without end. end. Amen. Amen. The work work of the just just is unto unto life, life, but but the the fruit fruit of the the wicked wicked unto unto sin. sin. It's a reading from Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians. Neither did we eat any man's bread at his cost, but we worked night and day in labor and toil so that we might not burden any of you. Not that we did not have the right to do so, but that we might make ourselves an example for you to imitate us. For indeed, when we were with you, we used to charge you, if any man will not work, neither let him eat. For we have heard that some among you are living irregularly, not doing work, but busy at meddling. Now such persons we charge and exhort in the Lord Jesus Christ, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Honor the Lord with your sustenance. And give him of the first of all your fruits. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, let us follow the blessed farmer Isidore's example of patience and humility and walk so faithfully in his footsteps that by his intercession in the evening of life, we can offer you a rich harvest of merits and good works through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Isidore. Pray for us. Together the prayer in honor of Saint Isidore. O God, God, who who taught taught Adam Adam the simple simple art of tilling tilling the soil, soil, and who taught and through Jesus Christ the true vine, revealed revealed yourself the husbandman of our souls. Deign, we pray, pray, through the the merits of blessed Blessed Isidore, Isidore, to to instill into into our hearts a horror of sin sin and a love of prayer, prayer, so that that working the soil soil in the sweat of our brow we may, we may enjoy, enjoy eternal, eternal happiness, happiness in, heaven, in heaven through Christ this, uh, our Lord. Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. St. Paul, in his first epistle to the Thessalonians, says, Strive to live peacefully, minding your own affairs, working with your own hands as we charged you, 
so that you may walk becomingly towards outsiders and may need nothing. The nobility of physical labor is praised both in the Old and the New Testaments. The humble workshop of Nazareth and the little hillside and stony field where the Holy Family worked and earned its sustenance are shining examples of the regard in which Christ himself held physical labor. Christ took for granted the duty of labor. His parables presuppose the law of work. They have for their protagonist a sower, a vineyard planter, a shepherd, a fisherman, a house builder, an employer, a housekeeper. They allude to their work as something natural, something presupposed. Throughout the centuries, the most prominent church writers taught the nobility of labor, while great saints, by their personal example, pointed the way for all of us to follow. Manual labor is absolutely necessary for the preservation of the human race. The earth does not give up her many fruits except by the labor of men. Since man needs fruits of the earth to sustain life, it follows that he must work to get them. One of the greatest evils in the world today is the dislike for physical labor and the effort many people make to avoid it. In doing so, they go counter to the teaching and example of Christ, the saints, and the repeated urgings of our great pontiffs in Rome. Pius XII stated most emphatically, as an indispensable means toward gaining over the world, that mastery which God wishes for his glory, all work has an inherent dignity and at the same time, a close connection with the perfection of the person. This is the noble dignity and privilege of work, which is not in any way cheapened by the fatigue and the burden, which have to be borne as the effect of original sin, in obedience and submission to the will of God. Please join me now in praying for all those uh, in our rural communities and for our, our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art, who in, art heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy heaven. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on, on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us and lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full, full of, grace, of grace, the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women, women and, blessed and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, womb Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of Mother God, God, pray for, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the, the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and ever and shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art who in, are heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is in, in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us, lead us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray pray for for us sinners, sinners, now now and at the the hour hour of our our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and ever shall be, world world without without end. end. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who Who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be be thy thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, Master of the Vineyard, How wonderful that you have invited us who labor by the sweat of our brow to be workers in the vineyard and assist your work to shape the world around us. As we seek to respond to this call, make us attentive to those who seek work but cannot find it. Help us to listen to the struggles of those who work hard to provide for their families but still have trouble making ends meet. Open our eyes to the struggles of those exploited and help us speak for just wages and safe conditions, the freedom to organize and time for renewal. For work was made for humankind and not humankind for work. Let it not be a vehicle for exploitation, but a radiant expression of our human dignity. Give all who labor listening hearts that we may pause from our work to receive your gift of rest. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that you might work through us to let your justice reign. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And we will conclude our prayer today with Holy God, we praise thy name. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim, all in heaven above adore thee, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. And adoring 